Hello everyone, my name is Jared Tallman and today I'll be taking you through the configuration of Positive Pay and NetSuite. Specifically, we'll be looking at NetSuite's Electronic Payments Module Suite app in version 2019.2. However, do note that this will work with the 2020.1 version, which is set to be upgraded in just a couple days in my demo account. Do note that I am using a demo account, so anything that I do uh, within this demo and configuration, I would highly recommend using a demo or sandbox account before moving to your own production environment. Before we get into the configuration of Positive Pay to upload to your bank, the first thing you're going to want to do is to make sure that you have the Electronic Payment Suite app installed in your system. This can be located underneath Customization, Suite Bundler, Search and Install Bundles, and List. However, if you do not have the bundle already installed in your system, you're going to go ahead and go to Search and Install Bundles. I'm not going to show you this part of the um, bundle installation as part of this video as NetSuite likes to change the bundle ID for this particular NetSuite Electronic Payments Module Suite app, as well as they like to change the availability from private to shared from time to time. So instead of giving you outdated and wrong information, I'll link the help article for the most recent information in the YouTube video below. Once the Electronic Payments Module Suite app is installed, you'll see the Payments Module um, center tab at the top of the screen. For Positive Pay, the first thing you're going to want to do is to hover over Payments, navigate to Setup, and then go to Positive Pay or Payment File Templates below. There's a handful of native payment file format templates in the system once this bundle is installed. However, most of the templates deal with direct debit or EFT, which we are not covering in this video. So right now I'm sorted by payment file type as direct debit, EFT, and then positive pay, which I would recommend you do so you can easily see uh, them segregated. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to uh, the next screen here so we can see the positive pay native formats in NetSuite. So NetSuite includes three native formats, which uh, include Bank uh, of America Merrill Lynch, Royal Bank of Canada, and SVB. However, you may need a custom file format to upload to your bank depending on your specs. That is possible. However, we are not going to cover that in today's video. If you need more information, feel free to reach out to me directly and we can take a look. Once you've determined which particular positive pay file format that you need, whether it be Bank of America, Merrill Lynch, or the other two, Note that down and then we'll create our bank details to associate to our specific bank GL account. Today we'll use the Bank of America Merrill Lynch particular file format. Once you've noted that down, we'll go to Payments, Setup, and Bank Details. As you can see on the screen, I do have bank details listed already for my EFT and direct debit for vendors and customers. However, this particular bank details does not have a pay positive pay template. So instead of going into the one already generated, what we'll do is we'll click on new company bank details and start off from scratch. You'll go ahead and give it a name here for this particular company bank details. And I would recommend you probably give it a name of the particular GL account that you're working with, whether it be Bank of America, SVB, etc. Uh, since this is a demo account, I'm just going to call it Positive Pay Test. And we'll link it to the corresponding GL Bank account. So in this case, I just have in my demo account 1,000 checking. So I'll go ahead and select that. In your case, you'll go ahead and select your particular bank account. Go ahead and enter a legal name and print company name for your bank. Subsidiary and currency default from the GL bank account that's selected. Note that we can only have one subsidiary associated with the bank account and one currency, so that's why it's inline text we cannot change. Marked by default and file name prefix, I would recommend you can just keep those unchecked. Most likely are not going to be necessary for our positive pay template. File cabinet location. Right now I have this going to my ACH files. However, if you want a different location, feel free to create a new folder underneath Documents, Files, and File Cabinet. And then you can come back here and change the location that you want the file that gets generated to upload to your bank. 
EFT template, direct debit template can be blank in this case. If you are using uh, EFT or direct debit, I would recommend adding those on here. Uh, but in this particular video, we are just using positive pay. So from the drop down with the positive pay template, I'll go ahead and select my Bank of America Merrill Lynch particular template. If we were to customize a custom solution for your template, on the drop down here, you would go ahead and select that particular template that you had set up in the previous uh, window that I showed or, or page that I showed. So we'll go ahead and select Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And that's all the fields that have been required that I need to enter. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and rename this just so we, we are consistent here to Positive Pay Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And then go ahead and click on Save. Once you save the company bank details, what you'll notice is it takes you to some other sub tabs down below here that you would need to enter information for. So depending on if you selected EFT, direct debit or positive pay, you would see additional fields related to your bank, whether it be routing number, bank account number, etc. In this case, since I just selected positive pay, I'm just going to go ahead and enter an account number related to my positive pay template. So we'll go ahead and enter a bogus positive pay number, or account number and go ahead and click on save. All right, my company bank details has been saved here, and then I can navigate to my list in the top right-hand section of the screen here, which will show me all my bank details. So I have my initial one, and then the one that I just created for positive pay, Bank of America Merrill Lynch, with my positive pay template uh, selected. So just to regroup here, we looked at the positive pay template that we are going to associate with our bank account. That particular positive pay template is what gets uploaded to the bank and it verifies that the check is good. Once that is generated with our bank details, the next thing what we'll do is we'll generate a bill as well as a bill payment that includes a check number and then produce the file uh, with that output. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new vendor bill in the system that has that particular GL account that I used underneath transactions, payables, enter bills. Okay, and my vendor here, I can go ahead and just put in a vendor of Oracle. My bill is approved, so we don't need to go through the approval process. And my currency is USD at the top. So remember, uh, my currency needs to be a USD based on my bank details. My subsidiary in this case is parent company US. Again, that needs to relate to my bank details from what we just set up. And then let's go ahead and just enter a category for my particular vendor bill that's hitting our GL account. And I'll go ahead and save the vendor bill. All right, so this bill is open. And in the, the, uh, for sake of clarity here, we'll just go ahead and make a payment, um, a one-time payment. However, you could pay bills with multiple bills if that's how you do it in your internal organization. In this case, we have my AP account, which is fine, 2,000 accounts payable. And then the key here is going to be my checking account that I'm using. So initially, when I set up the bank details, I associated that bank details with 1,000 checking. That needs to be uh, corresponding here to make sure that my file will be generated correctly. So I'm going to keep it as 1000 checking. And then I'm going to go ahead and enter a check number, which is the next check number in my sequence, 2482, which will be fine. And click on save. Perfect. So now I have a bill payment, 2482, in the system which should show up in my particular file when I generate for positive pay. So let's go ahead and generate that positive pay format and, and make sure that, or that file and make sure that uh, it looks correct. This is gonna be located underneath payments, checks, and positive pay. From my drop down with my bank account, I'm gonna go ahead and select the bank account that we selected underneath my bank details which is positive pay dash Bank of America Merrill Lynch. And once I select my bank account, what you'll notice is all the different transactions that I have related to this particular bank uh, account in the system for my bill payments. So you could use the filters at the top with the date from and to, check from and to as well. Uh, in this case, we'll do the single check that we just did in the system, which was the 
2482. And I'll put that in the check from. And the blow information for my select transactions should also update. Feel free to modify the include voided checks or exclude cleared checks as necessary when you're producing this file. When you're getting used to this, though, in your particular sandbox environment, uh, I would recommend testing all the different types of use cases. All right, so once you have this narrowed down with your positive pay, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click on Submit here. And it will produce the positive pay format or file based on the format of that particular bank account that we set up at the beginning. What you'll notice is the file process field here says queued, and this will constantly update based uh, on our script that is running uh, in the system. So you can go ahead and click on refresh here. And you'll notice how this gets updated to be processed, hopefully without error. You'll also get an email sent to you once it's been processed, uh, and it will show that it's been completed without error hopefully, as long as your format of your template uh, is, is fine. Once that gets generated, you'll actually see the file down below here to upload to your bank underneath the file reference. This is also housed in the file cabinet location when we set up our bank entity details. So this would be housed in my ACH files uh, folder in my uh, file cabinet. However, just for sake of clarity here and, and time, uh, you can go down here and click on download or click on edit to see the actual file format itself that will be a text to upload to your bank. Right, so this is the, the particular format for Bank of America, at least with the default one in the system that references the particular vendor, the date, the transaction, and so forth. You'll notice two buttons at the top of here, rollback and recreate file. The rollback, what this does, this will show for 24 hours once you generate this payment file administration, uh, that will roll back everything that you did. So basically reverse out everything that you're seeing on the screen, and it will go back in the queue to recreate the positive pay format, uh, the, the file itself. That will only show for 24 hours. So if you basically want to reverse everything you do, feel free to click on roll back. And the next particular button here is the recreate file. What that will do is we'll go through the same process from queued to processed and recreate the file based on the format that we initially selected for that bank account. So if you want to test different formats, uh, you can go ahead and uh, go to the bank account itself uh, that we've set up underneath payments, set up bank details, and change the, the formats for that particular positive pay, recreate the file, and see the different output that gets generated. So that certainly is helpful at the beginning. However, I don't see that being used too often once you get the particular payment file format uh, nailed down. Payment file administration, this is located underneath payments, payment processing, and payment file administration. So you'll see all your different positive pay formats um, that have been generated in this list, uh, as well as direct debits for customers, EFT for vendor bills, uh, and so forth. So feel free to come here. You can go ahead and uh, edit the criteria if you want, or edit this search to narrow it down. Uh, but this is where you can come back and, and make sure that you are producing the correct format uh, and without errors. So if you do have an error, it will say process with errors, and that's when you'll want to recreate the file to make sure that uh, there are no errors in that particular format um, template. Well, that concludes this particular video. If anyone does have questions, feel free to reach out to me directly, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you, and have a great rest of the day.